What is econometrics? In this video, I will provide a quick overview of the field of econometrics. It's not meant to be a comprehensive overview at all. It's meant to just explain what econometrics is in the context of the course I'm teaching. And this is also my personal view. In this presentation, I will talk about several things. What is econometrics? I will provide the definition. Then I will talk about the basic econometric model, about how the data sets and variables are set up for econometrics. I will describe the econometrics models that I teach in my course. I will talk about the econometrics software packages that we use. I will also talk about the econometrics papers that do econometrics problems and finally I will talk about the availability and types of econometrics courses typically taught. So what is econometrics? Wikipedia gives this definition. Econometrics uses economic theory and statistical methods to allow theories to be tested and is also used for forecasting and policy evaluation. So notice a few things. First of all, econometrics uses economic theory and statistical methods together. Why? The goal is to allow those econometric theories, economic theories to be tested and to find whether or not there is an empirical evidence for supporting those theories. So this is how we function. There is a hypothesis based on an economic phenomenon we get the data, we estimate econometric models, and then we come up with conclusions. Can we support this hypothesis or, or not? Econometrics is typically used for forecasting, which is projection of the trends going forward, or for policy evaluation, where you see if there is a support for a certain type of uh, policy and its outcomes or if we uh, introduce any changes, what's the outcome? My definition is that econometrics is the statistics for economists. This is typically the definition I give to people that are not from the economics field. And it seems to uh, for people to somehow put two and two together. So here is a quick overview of the basic econometric model. This is the linear regression and describes how the dependent variable is related to independent variables and the error term. So we have here y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus u, or in matrix form y equals x prime beta plus u. Here y is the dependent variable or the ones that we want to explain, predict, or the response variable, and x is the independent variable or control variables or the regressors. These beta are the unknown parameters that we want to estimate, and u is the error term. That's the basic model, and typically all the rest of the models assume this kind of basic knowledge, and we deal with, okay, so what if we have complications in various different ways? So, in order to estimate the econometric models, we first of all need to have our data set. And here are several properties of the data that's used for econometric models. The data could be cross-sectional when you have several units observed over one time period. It could be time series where one unit is observed over several time periods and panel or longitudinal data where you have several units over several time periods. So again, Cross-sectional is one dimension, only uh, subjects or objects, and time series is one unit over time, and panel data has both components. We typically care a lot about the properties of the dependent variable, and we care, is it continuous? Is it discrete? Is it a zero, one? Is it ordered or multinomial? Is it limited? Is it count? There are other properties of the data that we may also take into account, such as is the data spatial or is it survival where something fun functions until it breaks. So first of all, it's, it's very important to have a very good understanding of the data before you apply different models. This is the list of the econometric models that I'm teaching. Uh, the first one is the linear regression that I talked about. 
panel data models using panel data and then there's the probit and logit models the 0 1 binary variable models or the multinomial and ordered ones the limited dependent variable models and count data models instrumental variables for when we have endogeneity and seemingly unrelated regressions when we have uh, systems of equations then I also cover survival analysis, propensity score matching, spatial econometrics, quantile regression, and I am planning to put uh, some videos on time series uh, models as well. The econometric software packages that we use are several. In this uh, course, I use Stata, R, or SAS, and you could pick which one of the three you want to follow, or you can follow any of them. And there are other software packages that uh, other people use, such as SPSS, if you use Minitab, MATLAB, and Excel. So any software that would accomplish the task and estimate the model is fine. Uh, econometric papers and research. Uh, classes only go that far, and I recommend that if you're involved with research that you start reading uh, some econometric papers. There are two types of papers, the theoretical papers that advance econometrics modeling, and they are usually the ones that suggest new estimators, new properties, and so on. Um, and they're a little bit harder to read. But I also recommend that you read applied papers using existing models to address the economic problem. And when I teach classes locally to a particular university, I have an assignment of uh, papers in the specific field that I'm teaching to, um, for students to learn how to do their own research. So after you watch several of the videos, make sure that you also read the papers in your field to show you how to do your own research and talk about the results. Finally, I will talk a little bit about the econometrics courses that are typically offered. In terms of undergraduate courses, they are typically introductory statistics uh, where they talk about descriptive statistics, distributions, hypothesis testing, and they end in regressions. And that's typically when we start graduate courses. And graduate courses uh, follow into one of these three groups. The first ones cover econometric theory, and they're introducing the linear regression models, <laughs> the different assumptions, and estimators and the tests and then once you're done with that there are usually econometric topics classes that are based on the specific econometric models and this is where my class falls or there could be econometrics application where the emphasis is on a particular software package and learn how to use it as much so my class is mostly uh, I'm trying to do a combination of, of all three, but it's with emphasis on the second and the third one. So thank you for watching. This was a brief overview of the field of econometrics as used in my course. So uh, again, I will see you soon in other videos.